Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today because we've got a really neat demonstration for you. It's fall in New England, and typically we love this particular holiday here at Rittner's Floral School because there are so many neat colors, materials, symbolic motifs to play with. Of course, we've got great holidays like Halloween and Thanksgiving to play with, but to me, there's no better symbol of the fall than our scarecrow, because using the scarecrow motif, we can make designs up that can work at any time during this particular season. And we've got our little scarecrow set up. We thought it would be kind of fun to play with it and give you some ideas in terms of fall decorating. Equisetum, one of my favorite materials. Let's use some of our Equisetum right from the get-go on this design, and it gives us height and gives us importance to our design before we add anything else to it. And we've got some Equisetum over on this side. We'll take a little bit of our Equisetum and place it over on the other side as well. Let's follow that with some of our other materials that are kind of cool to play with. This happens to be one of my favorites. Some of our Liatris or Blazing Star. We'll take a little bit of our Liatris or Blazing Star and work it into our arrangement as well. And we're going to use a few of them to create our shape and to give us a sense of where our design is going. So a few over on this side. We'll take a couple more of our Liatris or Blazing Star and place it over on this side of the design. So we're gradually developing something. We're going to use a few more of those, but before we do, let's play with another material that's kind of interesting. Our wholesaler, Pat Riccardi, tells us this is a variation on a mini, a mini sunflower and a variety that I've never seen before. I thought it was kind of interesting when he showed it to me, so we thought it would be kind of fun to play with some of these in our design today. So let's take a few of these mini sunflowers and work them into our design. We're going to take a few and gradually work them in to come up with an interesting shape and to add color and texture. Of course, the yellow works so well in terms of the holiday motif and the idea of, of fall. So I'm going to gradually take some of our little sunflowers and gradually work them down into our design. And we're coming up with something really interesting, I think. It's so nice when we have these wonderful materials to play with because they enable us to come up with so many really neat effects. We've got a few coming over in here. Let's place something maybe over in here as well, in towards the center of our design. I'm going to shift this down just a little bit because I want to make sure there's good spacing on this. There we go. And then I'm going to take another one of these, place it over here. So we're getting some interesting things happening in terms of our mini sunflowers. Here's another one coming over here. So you can see the way this thing is gradually developing. Now let's go back to some of our, some of our Liatris or Blazing Star and work a few more pieces of Liatris or Blazing Star into our design. So I can integrate what we have up here with what we're doing down there. Another piece, for example, going over here. Notice how this is coming together very, very nicely for us. And then maybe something kind of in between. Something going right here will work well. And then let's take another piece and work it over here. So you can see this is coming together very, very nicely. I could stop at this point if I wanted to, but wait, there's more. Let's play with this just a little bit more. We have some, of course, at this time of the year, we have these incredibly beautiful bronze palms that are coming in. So let's play with a few of our bronze palms so that we can get some contrast with the yellow of our mini sunflowers. So let's take a few and work a few in there. And then let's take another one, play it over here. And then how about something over on the extremities of our design? We have some things going on on this side, so we can work a few of our, of our palms over there. And perhaps something in closer right here. And another one over in here. In other words, we're having fun mixing our various fall materials together to give us a very, very interesting effect. Now, let's see, what else do we have? Oh. Well, at this time of the year, we've got some great orange carnations. Let's take a few of our orange carnations and work them into the mix. And so I'll place one over here, and then another one over here. And then, let's see, we can work a few more in. Let's take another one, place it over in here. And 
Still another one here. I get so excited by this holiday period because we can play with so many beautiful things. They're bright, they're cheerful, the colors are great, the smells are nice. We have all the great associations in terms of these wonderful, fun holidays that we can play with during the fall. So notice with a few of our orange carnations, we've got something very, very nice. And notice how this design has come together so nicely for me. Let's take a few more of our Equisetum and work a few more Equisetum in. It kind of gives a funky effect. And so a few pieces here and there, working it through our design. And notice that by taking some of our Equisetum, and just bear with me, my viewer, as I'm cutting another piece and working it in here. And then let's take another one, cut it down and work it over here. How it gives us kind of a, a funky effect for our design. And at this point, I'd say the design is just about done, but let's take maybe a little bit of our fall foliage. We have some very, very pretty fall foliage with all the colors. And I can take a little bit of this, a few small pieces, and very, very carefully tuck it in, covering our mechanics and giving us a little burst of color in our design. And it ties together the, the oranges and the yellows and gives us a very, very pretty effect. What do you think, my viewer? Easy, huh? And that's the whole idea. At Rittner's Floral School, we teach you how to do floral designing so that you'll be able to make beautiful things for your home, for your friends, for folks, for profit. And we show you how you can make floral designing easy and fun. At Rittner's Floral School, we've got day programs, we've got evening courses, we've got long courses, we've got short courses. And we are very enthusiastic as we love to play with all kinds of colors and materials to come up with beautiful floral art. In this design, Equisetum, some of our mini sunflowers, some of our orange carnations, some of our liatris or blazing star, our bronze palms. And we've come up with, of course, our little motif for our scarecrow to come up with something that's really cool for the fall season. We hope, my viewer, that you've enjoyed this brief demonstration. Do come and visit more of our video clips. Check out our website at www.floralschool.com. And again, we thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.